Well, hey there, it's Sandy Alnock with the easiest Copic night sky ever. You're going to love this technique using MFT's Blast Off Buddies. And I wanted to make a slimline card, tall one, with a huge night sky. And the little critters here, for some reason they have bears and cats on planets. So there's that. We'll, we'll work, worry about that at another time. But I've got on some gloves because it's a messy technique. And I've stamped the image onto a slimline sized piece of paper, uh, Copic friendly paper. And then I have another piece of Copic friendly paper cut out to do the background. You can apply the color in a number of different ways. I'm using a Swisper, which is a makeup pad to apply color. You can either put it onto whatever surface you're working on. This is a craft assistant. And you can mix colors on there. You can do all kinds of things picking up that color and applying it directly onto the paper using the Swisper. And if you use just the Swisper without any of the colorless blender on it, you get a really solid type of color. If you add some colorless blender or you could add uh, isopropyl alcohol at this point, you're not putting it in your marker so it's safe to use, then you can water it down a little bit so you get this transparency. So I wanted to get that B16 color, which is underneath, and then the B79 color, a deeper kind of purplish blue, and have a really rich sky. But I didn't want all the streaks that you get when you do marker coloring. So this is a technique that I've taught in my uh, Copic art journaling class. So if you're interested in weird techniques like this, feel free to take that class because it's a heck of a lot of fun and it'll give you a lot of ideas for card making as well as for art journaling. So I've got all that done and it's set aside and I'm going to color the critters in here. I debated whether to color them crazy alien bear and cat colors because I'm not really sure why a bear and a cat are in a planetary type of situation because <laughs> that's what they're in the stamp set with. Lots of little aliens, alien bunnies and things. It's really, it's an odd combination but it somehow works. I don't know what, what it is about that. Maybe it's just when there's some cute stamps, it doesn't matter what situation they're in because they're adorable. Well, I decided to go for realism. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing a bear on the moon sitting next to a cat that's the same size as it. And I decide on realism. So I went for my favorite way to color bears, which is a black bear. And they have brown snouts and brown tummies and they're black elsewhere. And I used a series of grays to make some gradations on it. The cat, I decided to color like my kitty Punch, Punchinello. He has been extra lovey of late during the Christmas holidays. He decided that he would brave the dogs because he wanted some attention. So I've been spending more time with him, which has been kind of nice. So I just kind of followed his coloring. He's got kind of a shadow over one eye, and then his snout is, is brown. He's got a little bit of other browns on him and then little white toes on all his little feet. And then I'm going to add a shadow underneath because I'm picturing the light coming from above. And then I decided to kind of draw the planet horizon on here and put a little of that blue around there. It's going to make it easier to do the fussy cutting because if I don't get the fussy cutting exactly perfect, I'm only going to be leaving blue out there so it's not going to show up. It also is going to help me to see how strong the colors are that I need to have in the rest of my scene. And is it going to be dark enough? You know me, I love my contrast. And if suddenly I put this on that blue sky that is drying, I might find that the colors are kind of weak. But throwing just a little bit of that B79 up there in the sky is going to help me to be able to gauge what I'm coloring. I decided to put a rock underneath of the bear so the bear's leaning against something because it didn't really fit to lean against the cat you know the, just the way that his little body is sitting and then just started coloring the moon itself and for the moon I went for warm grays as opposed to the cool grays that are in some of the other things in here and I wanted a darker color into the foreground and then I decided what would really make this interesting would be to put in some other details like craters and you know shadow underneath of the, the little alien guy running around the craters will have a shadow on the top end because the light is coming from the far side 
and that so the side that you're seeing is in shadow and I'm just basically making them by by doing C shapes at the top with the shadow portion in them and then I'm rebuilding up that gray so that it gets nice and dark in the foreground and the contrast of the light which I talk about all the time the light hitting the top of the planet or the moon and the bear and the cat is the only place on here that's really going to have much in terms of light. And then I decided if this is supposed to be me, because the sentiment on it is kind of from me, being on the same planet with someone, I decided I should probably put glasses on there. But I decided to wait to finish off the glasses because I wanted that colorless blender to sit in there a little bit. And as it did, then it was ready to add in some highlights for the tops of the glasses. And then I drew the eyes in. Instead of being someone sleeping, which is the way the eyes are drawn in the stamp set, I could now draw them as just those circle eyes. And then I just took a pair of scissors and fussy cut around the top of it. Notice that I put the planet horizon high up enough that I didn't have to do much fussy cutting, only around the tops of their heads. And then I'm glad you're in my orbit is the sentiment that I wanted to use. And I just had to add stars with my white pen, or you can use a spray, whatever way you like to make stars. But that is the easiest night sky, and it'll work for other skies too. So if you have other colors, or if you want to make clouds out of things, etc., you can do it with the same kind of thing. Those Swispers, you can get them at Costco for like, I don't know, pennies each. They're super cheap and make all kinds of beautiful backgrounds. All right, that is it for me today, little short video. I will see you again next time with another fun art technique. Go make something beautiful and maybe give it to somebody else. And I'll talk to you again really soon. Take care, bye-bye.